Hi everyone. So today we'll be seeing uh, how the September month was. So as we can see, there was loss of around uh, 61k overall. Uh, this is including uh, brokerage and charges. And if we look at uh, strategy wise, uh, the 100 point strangle had the most uh, losses and uh, the number of lots were reduced from 16 to 12 for this in between the month uh, which uh, happens once a strategy hits the or goes beyond its MDD then generally there is a uh, lot size reduction and uh, same for bank nifty 200 point strangle uh, which uh, was the uh, second strategy where a uh, lot of losses were there and uh, so the the strategy just came out of drawdown in August month and again went into drawdown in uh, September month so uh, again the lots were reduced from 8 to 4 and then the next one the uh, expiry day OTM1 strangle which is uh, readjusted uh, after every 120 point move in underlying so that also had uh, good losses in uh, last month with uh, so this one as well as this uh, 100 point strangle both hit their max sir on a few days and then the bank nifty otm2 Strangle, which was kind of new strategy deployed, it didn't work out that well and uh, gave a good loss in just two trades. So it was stopped uh, after two days of trading. And then the ATM plus OTM2 strategy uh, for one lot, it had loss of 15k. And then the mid Nifty mid cap slack, which was again a um, new strategy it had uh, good losses of around 20k and uh, so uh, and this bag nifty straddle uh, non directional straddle uh, also had some losses so now the situation is uh, these ones like nifty mid cap and uh, is stopped bag nifty otm2 strangle is stopped and uh, and just uh, the non directional Bank Nifty strategy is also stopped. Coming to the profitable uh, strategies, uh, range breakout uh, Bank Nifty buy, it gave a uh, profit of around 30K. And again, the position size was increased from two to four during the month because uh, it's doing good. And then the second one is the Fin Nifty Aaron Condor expiry day strategy. It uh, gave good. Uh, profit there and then nifty expiry day straddle also gave some profit along with bank nifty expiry day straddle uh, where uh, re-entry is done at cost two times and nifty otm2 strangle uh, gave some okay profits and then the sensex uh, expiry day atm straddle is also did well uh, the lot size uh, when it was started it was started with two lots and increased to four uh, uh, after mid of the month and the indicator based bank nifty buy was kind of okay uh, same way for fin nifty expiry day and the uh, ratio strategies so overall uh, it gave uh, a loss of 61k so now uh, if we look into the overall yearly uh, how these strategies are doing so these gray ones are the ones which have stopped so if we see the topmost uh, so these are arranged by uh, the profit which they have given in the current financial year starting from april now the topmost one is the real day short vol volatility strategy uh, no trades were taken in last month because uh, no trade no results uh, were there uh, the 100 point strangle uh, didn't do well this month 
and uh, this was the first negative month for the strategy in this year itself and uh, then this bank nifty expiry day also uh, it uh, didn't perform well this month so uh, the profits the overall profit got reduced this nifty otm2 triangle is uh, doing good uh, last to last month which is uh, august month was very good for it uh, september month was kind of okay so but now it has come into the third position and this is for the overall lots which i trade we'll look into the per lot also if we trade uh, uh, only one lot uh, which strategy has done better so we'll go into that uh, view also the range breakout bank nifty by uh, has is doing good uh, this month also I means last month september month it did gave a profit of 30k uh, the month before 22k and this 22k was just for two lots 30k uh, was started with two lots increased to four lots so this is again a good one and then the next place is uh, kind of in nifty expiry day strategy uh, the iron condor is the same version of nifty expiry day with the hedges uh, to reduce the margin so that is the one and then the nifty uh, expiry day atm straddle also is doing good it was introduced uh, mid of the year and uh, this otm one strangle is uh, running on and off uh, this is the expiry day otm one strangle so this month was the biggest loss month for this one uh, along with this 100 point strangle which caused the overall uh, month to become negative and then uh, this bank nifty 200 point strangle uh, it is having some good months like 65k in august but then it is having more of bad months so that's where the position sizing it's decreased and uh, then the new strategies uh, like bank nifty otm strangle which was just started this month didn't do well and then the this nifty mid cap ones also which were started uh, mostly this one this month didn't do that well so this is the overall yearly view of the strategies how they are going now if we go into the one lot so here uh, what i have done is uh, i have just taken the one lot uh, profit per lot for all the days and then summed it up again it is after brokerage and charges but uh, few strategies uh, don't have any brokerage only one uh, the bank nifty 100 point strangle which i run on finratia so it doesn't have brokerage so it saves the brokerage plus 18 percent gst which is on the brokerage transaction charges will be on uh, all of these uh, brokers whether you pay uh, whether you trade by zero brokerage or 20 rupees brokerage so uh, what i have done is i have given the margin and again uh, this margin is uh, for for the cell studies it is uh, the margin needed to trade that strategy and uh, for buy it is three times the MDD because uh, the capital just to trade the just to take uh, just to buy a lot will be very less. So uh, that's the uh, methodology used for arriving this margin and then uh, I have summed up uh, per lot uh, profit or loss for the entire year uh, till now up to September. And then we have seen how much return they have provided uh, in that uh, month in that year and then i have arranged it uh, by the return percentage and uh, one uh, point is this real day short volatility strategy so here we sell uh, the uh, straddle uh, for a stock just before the results are about to come out and uh, few days uh, uh, two trades will be taken because if uh, two companies are declaring results if there are more than two then uh, only two will be selected to trade uh, to minimize the risk and uh, sometimes one lot uh, the margin for one lot goes into 340000 up to 340050 and uh, because two companies are trading so per lot also it becomes one well, two lot if we have to trade on two companies so that's where the margin six lakh eighty thousand only thing is uh, uh, if you already have uh, uh, margin for trading other strategies then only the online 
the cash component uh, is needed only 50% of it for uh, positional trading because it is a positional trade where you take the trade uh, before market close on one day and sell it uh, on the next day. So uh, in uh, actual, the margin will be half of this, but uh, I've kept it uh, uh, without assuming uh, that cash component or the, mar uh, uh, or the margin component. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, the topmost is the range breakout bank nifty buy. Again, uh, this was not running from the starting of the year. It started run, running from July of this month. And uh, in a lot, it has made uh, 30K, which is almost 50% of the 60K. If you assume uh, uh, it has a maximum drawdown of 20K. So that's where uh, the capital is 60K. but uh, uh, if, if someone just consider the capital uh, which is needed to trade a lot, which will be very small because we are trading uh, the uh, straddle which sometimes goes to 400. Uh, so, and one lot will be 50, so it will be 6,000. And if uh, we compare it with that return, it is like five times uh, return, which is 500%, but uh, it has a huge risk also. So that's where we are uh, comparing it with uh, two, three times of MTT. So that is the top one. And uh, then the next one is this real day short volatility. Again, it is a high risk uh, strategy. And then the next one is the Iron Condor expiry day. So here uh, we can see uh, this is the Iron Condor expiry day strategy. And uh, then the same uh, concept strategy without any hedges is the Fin Nifty expiry day. So we can see like one lakh thirty. The uh, margin reduction is from one lakh thirty to fifty, and uh, the profit will be almost same, like six uh, k, six point six k here and eight point eight k here. The main reason being the previous uh, Fin Nifty expiry. I just traded only one of them, the Iron Condor one, uh, because uh, I was trading through Tradetron, and uh, the overall limit was. Only five strategies there for me. So uh, not much difference uh, profit-wise if we see per lot, but uh, uh, margin-wise or the return percentage will change because uh, in one, the margin is 50. But at the same time, the drawdowns or uh, that percentage will increase because uh, the drawdown will be on 50,000 here and one like 30,000 here. So these uh, two uh, are doing good. And uh, then 100 point strangle, uh, has given around 13% till now. And uh, yeah, indicator-based bank nifty buy also can say has given good per lot. Uh, again, it was started from July only. It has not given as good as uh, the range breakout, but uh, not bad. And uh, then the double ratios are the ones which have given around uh, 4% uh, in the year, not that much. But only the accuracy is high, as you can see, uh, it has never gone into negative uh, in this year. And uh, now seeing the negative returns, uh, like this bank nifty momentum buy, which I was running till June, has given a return of minus 13%. And uh, an ITM1 TSL, which I used to run earlier, had given 8% negative return. And then this Nifty mid cap select, which I recently started, has uh, given minus 4%. And uh, then OTM2, okay, this was the new one. And uh, yeah, so uh, those have given it uh, uh, negative returns. Most of them are stopped. And then this Bank Nifty expiry day straddle, which is uh, currently running, it has given just 2%. Same for the 200 point strangle. Again, uh, as we see, uh, this is just for one lot. Uh, uh, if I and one lot uh, after removing the brokerage and charges, so this gives the overall picture of uh, how the different strategies have done uh, over this year. As we can see, uh, the strategies uh, have not performed well in this month. So what I have done is the lot sizes have reduced for them. Fin Nifty, 
lot size will increase because it is doing good and again uh, uh, if i go to my uh, back testing excel which i used to size the use for position sizing of uh, my strategies so here uh, now the lots for the fin nifty r and condor are increased to 10 and uh, so that will be one change uh, going forward and uh, that will reduce the capital but uh, because uh, currently it is in drawdown uh, uh, so the lot size reduction has happened now i can increase this uh, bank nifty uh, expired day struggle uh, 20 lots uh, the risk will go up but uh, the returns uh, will also go up so that is one thing i have to uh, see because then the capital will be somewhere near to what i am using uh, and the sunset expired day straddle uh, the position sizing will be increased to eight so there will be few changes uh, where uh, the uh, main logic is uh, to uh, change the position sizing so that the drawdown is in control even though it has gone past uh, in the actuals but the back testing it will be uh, in the excel it will be adjusted such a way that uh, it is in control control is less than two percent nowadays what is happening is whenever i adjust it uh, somehow in future the drawdown is exceeding so that is one situation which will keep happening it might happen or might not happen in future so that's all for today thanks i think it will help you in planning your strategies for the next month